those who get more fiber in their diet significantly less likely to get heart disease and to die from heart disease, less likely to get cardiovascular disease in general, less likely to die from it, less likely to have a stroke, less likely to get diabetes, less likely to get colorectal cancer, less likely to die from cancer across the board, and less likely to die from all causes put together. But all of this is for fiber from food. In terms of fiber intake for optimal health, the first line of defense for disease prevention is to focus on fiber from foods rather than supplements. For the treatment of disease, there's a lack of evidence-based research to support the use of most isolated fiber types. Eating more fiber-rich foods may eventually promote the emergence of more GLP-1-secreting cells in our intestinal lining. Check out this study. Adaptation of colonic fermentation and GLP-1 secretion with increased fiber intake for not a few hours, but an entire year. Colonic adaptation to increased wheat fiber intake takes many months, but eventually results in increased short fatty acid production and GLP-1 secretion. This was found when people were randomized to a year of either all bran or Rice Krispies cereal for breakfast, and there was a significant increase in short-chain fatty acid production and GLP-1 secretion in the higher fiber group, but it took 9 to 12 months for these benefits to develop.